Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today I have another weekly makeup basket and it's a smaller one this time around because I have finished up a few products that you will see in the next video. That will be up tomorrow. So yeah, usually I would post this video on a Monday but since the Beauty Empties video will be up on Monday. I have this one up on a Sunday. And I'm just sitting here with my cute leafy cup of tea. With some honey in it. Because it's cold and nasty outside. So yeah, let's just jump right in. I have three primers. I have the trusty Goody Smashbox Primerizer. I'm using this every day. Love it. I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm using this every once in a while. On my In my T-zone. I like it. But... Yeah. I don't know. I need to pr play around with it somewhere. Then we have this ooh, Maybelline and Gigi Hadid strobing liquid in the shade Iridescent. You might know what this means. You will see in my beauty empties. For concealers, I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm putting in the Maybelline H Rewind concealer. And the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer. You know me, I need to have two of them. Then for powders, I have one powder foundation and one setting powder. And my setting powder this week is the Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo. You might know what that means. A little spoiler, but yeah, I love this one, especially the matte side. You can clearly see I have used it quite much. I have flattened out the dome, so yeah. Love this one. And for powder foundation, another spoiler, but I'm bringing in my Beauty Act. Skin Hero Blur Primer, Blur Primer, Blur Powder in the lightest shade, and this it well is what it looks like. Quite nice. Used it once, and it's an okay powder. We will see how it holds. Then bronzers. I'm only bringing in one, and I'm bringing in the Wet n Wild color icon. In the shade Sunset Striptease. You know, I love this one and you can clearly see it. I want to focus on this one for the rest of the year and see how much use I can get out of it. And yeah, I love it. And it's an easy bronzer to use. Then for blushes, I'm bringing in three. One cream blush that I just adore and love so much. If I can get it open, that's the ouch only thing I don't like about it. And it's the Smashbox Halo Cheek Palette. And I'm, it's two oh, highlighters and two putty blushes. And I'm using this top shade here, which is the shade. Radiant Rose Putty Blush and you might think what the heck they look so deep in color and they share out nicely on the cheeks. I'm wearing it today under the next blush I'm gonna show you and yeah I did love it. I wish they come in their own compact as a single and a little bit bigger. The second blush is this Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Pink Dahlia. 
I use this every day the last week and you can clearly see where I dip my brush and I'm starting to get some dip in it. I haven't used the shimmer side that much because I'm using a highlighter at the moment. So yeah, this is lovely. You don't need much. It's a really um, pigmented blush and it's super nice. I would recommend you pick it up. Then I have the Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. This is a Franken now. I have put some eyeshadow in it to get it a little bit more pale in color. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, would be nice to finish this one up, but if I'm not, it's fine as well. I do love this one. Then, highlighter. I'm working my way through the MAC Soft and Gentle. And I have expanded the pan. Look at how huge that is! I'm thinking of working my way sideways over to this side because it is a little bit more worn down, especially right here. So I'm thinking of going this way. And yeah, we will see how it goes. This is a big 10 gram highlighter and it's baked, which make it even harder to finish. I have seen it done and it will be awesome to do, but I think I will have this one for another two years, probably. So yeah, I do love this one. That's what the glow on my cheeks are today together with the blush from this one and my primer of course then for setting spray I'm switching it up a little bit of a spoiler for my beauty empties and I'm gonna work on this Revolution Pro Supreme Hold Finishing Spray because I only have these two left in my collection. This one is not described as a um, described as a setting spray. But yeah, I will be using this one and a little bit of this one. We will mix and match and have some fun. For mascaras, I'm only using my two Lancome ones and the Maybelline one. I have the Kat Von D one in my backpack for work all the time. So when I don't have time to do mascara but I do put on eyeshadow, I can put on mascara at work. So yeah, that's why that one's not in here at the moment. But I will be using that one as well. For liners, I have two. I have the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I think I can have this one done by the end of the year. And then I have the Kors Long Lasting Long Lasting Eyeliner in Zero One Black. You know the drill. I use it for tight lighting. Tight lining. Then for the eyebrows, I have my L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist Brow Gel and the Super Fine Brow Liner. I'm slowly but steady working my way down. I think this will take me maybe until mid-December to finish off. For eyeshadows, I have... And point from H&M. Still have to use this one and I want to hit pan on it. And then I have been just playing around. But 
I will quickly just rearrange my shadows for you so you can see what I'm gonna work on. So if you have seen my Instagram, you know I finished up Burnt Orange, so I will be working on Rialgar from the Modern Renaissance palette. I will be working on Downright from Colourpop Give It To Me Straight. I will be working on the shade Glucose from Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. I will keep working on my pills from Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson Conspiracy palette. Uh, the pan is growing bigger every single day. This one is really powdery. And I will be working on this shade from Colourpop. It's the shade Champagne Toast from Colourpop and Zoella, I think. And I will slowly but steady start to work on Red Ochre from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. Do I want a shimmer with this? Or do I only want to keep the mattes in? I do have home office this week except for Wednesday and Friday. So I will have time to play around a little bit more. So maybe I should bring in a shimmer or two. Yes, let's do that. I'm bringing in the MAC Cranberry shade. And finally, I am bringing in um, another MAC. It's the expensive pink shade. So, yeah. My eyeshadow palette for the week is looking like this. At the moment, I will maybe rearrange it a little bit. But yeah, that's it. And for... Lips, I will just pick whatever I like, since I'm at home most of the days, and the two days I'm at work, I will probably just wear my Dior Addict Lip Glow Lip Balm and the Dior Maximizer Lip Gloss, and maybe the YSL Rouge Pure Catcher Lip Stick in the shade 70 Le Nu. Those three are the ones I'm currently using at work. So yeah, that's everything for today and I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye!